Snapchat created stories, Instagram finessed that feature, and now 500 million people use Instagram stories every single day. TikTok created a new way of consuming content with a proprietary algorithm that delivers that content. And now Instagram took that, called it Reels, and is putting a whole lot of attention towards it. So given that we are in the early stages of what could be Instagram's biggest new win, I wanna ride this come up wave with Instagram and see if it's possible to start an online business and sell a product strictly using marketing we get through Instagram's new feature. Okay, I feel like that was kind of a weird intro, so let me elaborate and explain things a little better. I'm sure everyone knows what TikTok is by now. It's an app on where you scroll through short, one minute maximum videos, but what makes it special is the algorithm. TikTok really studies what kind of videos you watch longest, which ones you press the like button on and comment on and interact with, and then recommends other videos similar to it. And this algorithm is just spot on. From a distance, TikTok doesn't seem like anything special, but when you pick it up and start scrolling, the algorithm kind of studies your sense of humor and interest and then recommends all these videos that it knows you're gonna like, making it hard to put the app down. Now Instagram saw this and they saw how quickly the app was growing in popularity and decided to release a similar feature on Instagram called Reels, which is basically the same exact thing as TikTok, except it's integrated straight into the Instagram app. So now when you go in your Instagram Explore page, this new feature takes up half of the entire page right off the bat and then takes up even more space as you scroll through your Explore page. So you know Instagram is really trying to push this feature and get people to use it. Now the crazy opportunity here is that this feature is pretty new, so there's just not that much content being posted on Reels. You combine the fact that Instagram is pushing as much, a whole lot of eyeballs to Reels as they can, with the fact that there's just not that much content there, and what you get is a way for you to make videos go viral fairly easily. I've tried posting Instagram Reels on my theme pages, and those videos did extremely well right off the bat and brought a lot of attention to my pages, so I mean, I've experienced this firsthand. Good videos are very likely to pop off on the this new side of Instagram. So all of this got me thinking and you already know what we have to do. We have to try and use this feature to see if it'll be possible to use it as a very cost efficient viral marketing strategy to sell a product. We're gonna try using Instagram Reels to dropship. If you don't know how dropshipping works, one of the most common ways you can do it is by finding a product on a website called AliExpress, building a website around this product, listing it on there for more, and when people buy from your website, you take the money and order it for less on AliExpress directly to your customer's address while keeping the difference in the price as profit. So step number one, we need a product and I can be prepared. I already even ordered this product off AliExpress so we can use it to make an advertisement. It's this little thing right here. It's a very gimmicky product, but I think it can work. It's an attachment you can put on any push to start car to make it have the feel of a Lamborghini. I don't know this from personal experience, but one of the quir quirks and cool features that Lamborghini cars have is that to start it up, you have to flip open this cover that gives you access to the start button. And this is a cover that you can attach to any car as a joke. I mean, maybe it would actually look cool on some cars, but this product is mainly a gimmick, a little goof. I mean, you gotta admit, it'd be pretty quirky to have one of these on a Prius or something. It's definitely not a product I would start up in hopes of building a long-term brand around, but I think it can definitely work as a test to see if we can sell something through Instagram Reels. So now that we have the product, let's go ahead and build a store around it. Okay, just finished up a quick website. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on my phone. To us, it doesn't really matter what it looks like on desktop because we're advertising through Instagram Reels. And I assure you that there's nobody there sitting on their desktop scrolling through Reels from their computer. So for that reason, I mainly just focused on the mobile view, but that's enough talking. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, here we are. First thing I want to mention is this sick domain that I was able to secure for only $14.99 for the year, LamboButton.com. I mean, come on, that's perfect for this store. Moving on, I got a Lambo button written in a pretty sleek font on the header there. Under that is a product image. Then we have the reviews, five stars. You already know the vibe, the name of the product, button cover. I'm charging $14.99 for it, but then I also charge for shipping 
shipping, which is $299. So each one of these button covers is going to come out to $17.98. Under the price, you can select what color button you want. I have black and red. When you choose black, this button right here turns to black. Under that, you have some text. I really try to be kind of quirky and funny with my product description. I said, looking for some extra horsepower? Well, you're in the wrong place, but our well-crafted alloy metal Lambo button cover is sure to bring you some laughs. I want to be lighthearted with my description because this is a pretty gimmicky product, but under that, I have a GIF of what this product is and how it works in action. Some more kind of quirky writing there. And finally, we finish it off with some customer reviews that I imported from AliExpress. They even have some pictures here, which is really cool builds a lot of trust okay now that we have the store it's time for the advertisement and given that i already ordered this and have it i'll actually film the ad myself i have my company vehicle outside the stew that i can use for this ad it's a toyota 4runner oh, no. that has a push to start so this thing will be perfect for it can you wear a wad on your trd pro okay i just finished filming myself applying this little bun cover and check this thing out Wow, I love this product. I think I'm gonna just keep it on here for kicks and giggles, but now back to the stew to edit what I just filmed. Find your passion. Now it's time to go back in the studio. There we go, done editing all together with filming and editing. It took about 15, 20 minutes, probably the quickest ad I've ever created. And that's actually completely on purpose. I don't want this ad to look very well produced. I even just filmed it on my phone. And that's because I want this ad to just look like an organic piece of content so that when people see it, they don't just immediately think, oh, okay, that's an ad and scroll right past it. This is gonna get more people to view the video and hopefully drive more traffic to our store, but that's enough talking. Let me just show you the video. Yo, you gotta check this out real quick. There you go, I personally love it. I even added some Lambo sound effects when I pressed the button. I did also wear a mask and a hat in the video because with this haircut, everybody would obviously think it's DJ Khaled in the video. So I unfortunately had to hide the fresh fade. I felt like, although good for views, it would distract from the product. But I mean, as you saw up until the very end, it doesn't actually feel like an ad. If I saw this, I would honestly kind of enjoy it as a regular piece of content. And that's exactly what I was going for. And I wholeheartedly believe that is the key to marketing on TikTok and now all also on Instagram Reels. But now that we have a product, a website, and an advertisement, time for the marketing. I will be hitting up a bunch of car pages on Instagram that have Reels posted and make sure those Reels are getting good views before I DM them asking for their promo price. DMing and sending money to all these pages I just did over the span of like, I don't know, two hours while getting some other work done here. But this part of the video honestly blew my mind. I DM'd a bunch of these car pages and almost every single page that got back to me said something like, yo, I remember watching your Instagram tips. And a few even said that they started their page because of my videos, which was crazy. Some of them even offered to post the ad for free. I appreciate you guys, but I wouldn't want to finesse like that. So I, I did pay for all of them. Gotta say it was cool that everyone knew me, felt like Gucci made in 2006 and whatnot but that also kind of meant i couldn't really haggle like i would normally do for this kind of thing so i unfortunately did have to pay full price for all of these shout outs so let me show you guys the pages that i secured i got this page right here for 30 dollars. this one was also 30 dollars. this page is a little smaller so i only paid 15 for it and then this final page i dropped 47 dollars total for it that's a total of 122 dollars on the marketing which means we have to sell around 12 of these buns to get our money back i think that's very much possible it's currently monday all of the ads go up tomorrow on Tuesday. So I'll see you guys probably with the results sometime on Wednesday. Okay, we're back. It's Wednesday. I have the results. First off, though, major flaw I had was I didn't realize or I didn't research enough and figure out that Reels videos are restricted to only being 15 seconds long. So the last part of the call to action of my advertisement got cut off when everyone posted the ads. It's not detrimental since there was a call to action in the caption of the videos, but I'm sure not having it at the end of the actual video altered the results at least a little bit. Other than that, I'd say our plan to make a very casual advertisement in hopes of it getting good views worked quite well at 19k on the smallest page then we have 28k views on another one 32k and the page that popped off the most got us 
140,000 views. That's a total of 219,000 targeted views in a specific niche for only $122. That's that's pretty crazy. That's insane. But let's get into whether or not any of these views converted and turned into actual paying customers. Okay, here we are on the Shopify app. I logged in into LamboButton.com. As you can see, it's the Shopify app. Got two live visitors right now. But let's go over the sales. We actually got a sale tonight, $17.98 there. But yesterday, when the ads actually went up, we hit $500.46 in sales. So the total, the, all of the sales combined yesterday and the sale we got today is $518. $518 minus 122 for the ads is 396. Subtract 217 for the product cost, and we're sitting at $179 profit. There was a couple other minor expenses like buying the actual product for the ad, and then also the domain, but the ad on domain could last me for like a year, so it's not really fair to deduct it from the first day of running the store. But even if you factor in all of that and even payment processing, it would still be at like at least $150 profit. So for a store and advertisement that was made made in a couple of hours, not bad at all. Now imagine if we did this with a more long-term product, created a proper Instagram company page for it, spent a lot more time on the website and branding, made multiple ads, and then launched on even more pages. This real thing could definitely work to kickstart and test products, do some serious damage. And if you're interested in how you can actually do all of that, I do have a dropshipping course linked below. Feel free to check it out. But that's gonna be it for this video. Pretty hyped on how things turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.